This is the era of business intelligence analytics and Power BI is leading that. You want to learn Power BI? This is the channel for you. Beginner series, 200 plus videos, advanced series, 100 plus videos. And if you are absolute beginner, don't know anything in Power BI, then start with four live videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video of beginner tutorial series. And in today's video, we are going to discuss one Power Query function and the function is table.transpose. Now, in the series, we have already shown you how to do transpose and we are going to show you that, but there is a function which you can also use. So it's not the menu item. You can also use the table.transpose function. It takes table, optional argument as column, and it actually turns rows into columns or columns into rows. Okay, so one of the things it can do, one example has been given, their table of records has been created transpose has been applied and you can see the data has been transposed here. So now let's go ahead and look at these things at Power BI. So let me jump onto the Power BI. In Power BI to go to Power Query, we have to click on Home, Transform Data, Transform Data. Now first of all, what I'm going to do before I do this, I will bring in the data which I was using previously for this one. So those of you are following the channel, you can download uh, the Pivot data uh, file from the GitHub, I'll give the GitHub link in this one. So you might already have those who are following the channel. Those who are not following, they can download, download it from the GitHub link given. And in that one, what happens, you will get one sheet, which is basically transpose. Now the data itself is already being transposed here and we click on, okay. We do that, we get a table, which is already transposed. Now what we used to do is basically, we used to click on this empty one and we go to the, we used to go to transform data and where there we used to click on this function transpose and he used to give us the data like this. And then we used to apply, we used to go to the home tab and used to say use first row as header. So this is what was operation, which we were performing previously with that data. And this is how we used to get our data transposed. Now we want to do the same stuff again by ourselves. So in Power Query, we can remove the steps. So what we're going to do is we are going to remove a step C. The already this operation is happening, but now let's do this operation manually. So we are back at the same stage where we loaded the data. So let's go to the right click advanced editor here. Go till the end of this line, change type, pressing the end comma, and then we can press enter, come to the next line and let's say underscores transpose. Now, whenever I am writing down step, I, why am I writing down underscore? Because we can differentiate these between what we are doing, what system is doing. Table, table dot transpose, table dot transpose. And in the transpose, we are going to give the table name. Now, how do we get the table name when the, the code itself is running? We take the previous step table. Name. You need to be really careful. If by mistake, you take some other uh, uh, step and that is not a table or that's not the table in the previous step. You might miss out certain things which you have done in the previous step. So we do this transpose operation and after doing this transport op operation, we are going to change the in code to have the new table, which we are creating returned here. And we say done. And we, once we do that, you can see the same, uh, stuff is getting here. Now we do go here and see, do we have move first row as header also as a function? So we go here and say, uh, first row and we have learned the function table dot promote headers. Okay. So table dot promote headers and we say underscores transpose. Fine. So let's try out this table dot promote headers and say, okay. And we have not done one step and the step is we have not promoted the next output into the file. And now you can see now the change type, which power BI was automatically adding this something we have to do now, because in the promote headers, if we were doing using the option, those options also take care that this operation might require the change type. So that is what when we are manually doing the change type, we have to also do manually. Okay. So right now what you can do, you can say, okay, this is date. This is whole number. This is decimal number. Okay. And you will get the change type step. 
Right? We will also learn the manual step. Now what happens? Now this is the table which was running table. Now can I transpose the table which is already existing? We can do with this table or, or let's do one thing. Now we got this transpose table. Let take into the next step and transpose it back and let's see what we get. So we say new source blank query and advanced editor. Now we say table dot transpose and there we are going to say transpose as a table. We already have a table transpose. Okay, so this is okay. And you see this is how we started initially. Now it does not gives the column name here in the rows. That's the thing which you are going to get if you are simply using it. So we are able to transpose it and we can further do transform and transpose over transpose. Let's do one more table dot transpose. Once more, same function. We are going to do this. We again get the same data back. Now again, data type we have to correct and name we have to give. So you can transpose the data means you can convert rows into column, column into rows. That's the beauty of this function. And sometimes what happens when we get the data, we might have to do these kind of operations. And sometimes it might be part of one of the operation which we are doing in the data. All these power query things which we are learning, most of them is going to help us in transforming the data into a better shape, into a usable shape. So that is what our objective is. Whenever we are using Power Query, we wanted to do these, what you call the transformation or small ETLs to make sure our data is in a better shape to be used. It is more nearer to star schema. It is more nearer to the, what we call the row tabular format data, table format data or database table, near to database table format data. So that is where we are trying to, uh, you know, make sure that our data is in that shape. So let me do close and apply. And this will now convert into a table which we can use into the analytics part of a, the Power BI. So go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to consider in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.